Hey witches, what's up and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Barbie and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystal and witchy content. All right, you guys, so we are back with another video this week and this week's video will be a follow-up to the five below video that I did last week. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up in the eye above and in the description box down below. So basically the gist of last week's video is I went to Five Below to try to find out if they had real crystals in their store. So in my last video I had asked if any of you had ever bought crystals from Five Below to DM me over on Instagram and send me some pictures of crystals you bought from Five Below and you guys came through and sent me a bunch of pictures of crystals that you guys had bought from Five Below. So today we're gonna look at those together. I'm gonna tell you what stuff is real, what what stuff is fake, what stuff is treated, because definitely they are not all real and they are not all natural, but there are surprisingly some that are. I also went on fivebelow.com and checked out what they have for sale in terms of crystals. So we're gonna walk through that as well in case you don't have a Five Below but you wanna buy online. So if you guys wanna find out if the crystals from Five Below are real or fake, Stay tuned and let's get on into the video. Okay, you guys, so let's jump right in. I was super surprised at the types of crystals that Five Below offers, completely different than what I thought. However, very, very, very common stones, nothing rare, nothing expensive, nothing surprising. So definitely in line with what I thought in that way. I wasn't sure if I was gonna see fakes in the photos some of you guys sent, but there were. So let's jump in, let's look at what you guys sent me. So the first pictures we're gonna look at, I'm gonna put up on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm seeing on my phone. So the first crystal we're looking at here is a chunk of rough rose quartz. So this rose quartz is completely unpolished, it's in its natural form, and it is 100% authentic. And the quality actually looks pretty good. So I would say if you guys do have a stone that looks like this from Five Below, you're good, it's natural, it's untreated. So the next crystal we're gonna look at is this amethyst cluster. So this is a natural amethyst cluster. Again, unpolished, completely raw, right from the ground. Doesn't look like it has any kind of treatment on it. So again, this one is completely natural. So if you have a crystal that looks like this, this is an amethyst cluster. Good to go, completely natural. And the next stone is another amethyst cluster. So this one looks a little bit different from the first stone, but is the same exact crystal, just looks a little bit different. Again, this one is completely natural, untreated, straight from the ground, uncut, and unpolished. So there you go, completely natural. So the next thing somebody sent me was this little chakra set. It looks like it has seven tumble stones in it. And from what I can tell, it's a mix of some treated stones in there. So the first stone, I'm gonna zoom in on the stone I'm talking about. This one is actually a dyed piece of howlite. So it in fact is a fake. So I'm gonna link up above in the description box the video I made about fake turquoise. So this is what's being faked as turquoise. So this in fact is not genuine turquoise, it is just dyed howlite. So that's stone number one. Stone number two looks like tiger's eye. It's a little bit hard to tell, but I believe that that one is tiger's eye. That is a completely natural untreated stone. Stone number three looks like a tumbled piece of rose quartz. This looks completely natural and untreated. The yellow stone to me looks like yellow jade. It's really hard to tell what this one is because again, these are small pieces of stone. It could also be calcite. Um, a little bit hard to tell, but it looks natural. It doesn't look dyed. And then we have a piece of what looks like sodalite. It's a little bit hard to tell because of the glare. It could be sodalite or it could be blue spot jasper, which is different from sodalite. It looks more white than blue, which makes me think it's the blue spot 
dot jasper so a little bit hard to tell there then the darker yellow stone looks like another piece of calcite completely natural untreated and then the stone the small purple stone i believe is probably amethyst i don't think it would be anything else because other purple stones tend to get a little bit expensive so I think that that one is amethyst but I did see this one online I may be able to get a better view of the stones from the online listing so the next stone is another amethyst cluster and again this one's completely natural completely untreated uncut unpolished straight from the ground good to go so if you have an amethyst that looks like this you are good to go and here's just another version of it where you can see the base of it this is a cut base where that's holding the stone so if it looks like this it's again completely natural so this is another amethyst cluster and this looks like it has a little bit of mica in it those are the little black spots which is really cool I mean this stone again is completely natural the color does look lighter amethyst comes in a lot of shades of color it can look really dark and deep and purple and it can look really light and pale this one definitely looks light and pale again it's completely natural nothing has been done to this stone it's untreated so there's a ton of variety in what amethyst looks like and just because the color is off doesn't mean that it's not a natural stone so again this is another example of a completely natural piece of amethyst so the next stone that we're gonna look at is crazy because it doesn't look like it would be five dollars from five below but it is in fact a salt lamp so these aren't necessarily crystals they're more so salt lamps but these are completely natural and really really beautiful and the next one looks like a selenite tower now if you guys have watched my video on how to spot fake selenite you'll know that this is actually a satin spar and not selenite but they do have the same functions and they do have the same healing properties they are formed the same way it's just the names are slightly different so this in fact is a satin spar tower so if you want to watch the video on how to spot fake selenite I will link it up above and in the description box down below still a beautiful piece though and they naturally form like this it's not cut or polished this is completely natural so I noticed some of the other things people picked up were some jewelry pieces so the first one on the screen it looks like it was broken but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like so this is a rose quartz double terminated pendant necklace so double terminated means that it's polished at the bottom and the top so there's two points on it and this one again completely natural okay so the next crystal we have is a jade face roller did see these I saw the rose quartz version I didn't see the jade version jade is very common in face rollers this one I believe is completely natural jade can sometimes be mixed up with other stones so it's hard to say a hundred percent from this photo if it is actually natural jade but it for sure is a natural stone so even if it's not jade it's still a natural crystal so this one this is our first fake I noticed most of the fakes in the pictures you guys sent were actually Actually, howlite so I would probably not buy howlite from five below because it seems like it's being faked so just keep a heads up for the howlite this is a howlite bracelet to me this looks very fake and I don't know if it's just another stone that's being faked as howlite or if it's truly plastic I think it's plastic I've never seen howlite look like this I've purchase howlite it's one of my favorite stones I've seen it in bracelets and it doesn't look like this so this person is actually sending me the howlite bracelet to take a look at so I'll probably do a follow-up on my Instagram so make sure to go follow me on Instagram if you guys want to find out if this howlite bracelet is real or not from visually to me it doesn't look real so just be really careful with the howlite bracelets because I don't think this one's real and the next bracelet it looks like is a rose quartz bracelet and this one does look a hundred percent authentic and real so if you're gonna buy bracelets from five below stick with the rose quartz don't bother with the howlite all right and then we have a cluster of crystals here and these are really interesting there are some treated crystals in here so let's walk through what we have on the screen here so there are four raw crystals so these are completely natural crystals however some of them do look like they have treatments so the pink crystal this looks like a clear quartz cluster that's been treated with an aura treatment and if you guys don't know what aura is it's a heat applied man-made treatment that gets applied to the stone and it changes the color and the effect 
effect of the stone so sometimes it can give it a glittering looking effect there's different types of aura treatments but basically it's a metal that's applied to the crystal to give it a color changing effect so this one looks like it was applied with a hot pink color changing effect this hot pink color isn't natural it's not found in nature the base stone is probably clear quartz which is just a clear under base so that's what that one is if we look at the top crystal this one is a clear crystal but you can tell it has a treatment on it because it has kind of a rainbow glittering effect so that is an angel aura treatment so angel aura gives a rainbow glittering effect this isn't naturally occurring on these stones clear quartz does have a shimmer to it but it doesn't have this rainbow shimmer so I can tell that those two clusters are treated with some type of aura treatment if we go down below to the two amethysts these are very similar to the other amethysts we looked at these are untreated amethysts so they don't have any kind of aura or any kind of treatment on them again they're all natural stones but two of them have an aura treatment so just something to look out for if you don't like aura on stones and you want something all natural I would probably not buy these ones but if you do love aura I personally love aura I have tons of aura in my collection it doesn't affect the healing power of the stone in my personal opinion other people could think differently but if you're okay with the aura treatment they are really beautiful and I think they bring a little bit of magic to the crystals so next we have another rose quartz double terminated pendant again this one is completely natural this one's not broken so I just wanted to show you guys this one to see what it actually looks like so completely natural good to go and then here this one I'm apologies it's a little bit blurry but this one is in fact a howlite pendant and this howlite it's a little hard to tell it doesn't look completely natural so again I'm noticing the howlite that five below has doesn't look really natural so I think this one may be plastic so just be a little bit careful with the howlite this one this dark blue one this one looks like soda light so we haven't really seen soda light before unless we saw it in the chakra set earlier in that tumble if that is in fact soda light so the reason I think this one is soda light is because soda light often has black and blue this to me is another double terminated point so points at two ends this looks all natural to me um the color is very dark so the quality is actually on the nicer side so completely safe with the soda light pendant okay you guys so that is it for all the photos that you guys sent me but I did take a peek at online to see what kind of crystal offerings they have so let's walk through those because I have some similar comments so the first one we're going to be looking at is the white sage and I did express this in my other video and this does confirm to me that in fact it was white sage that they were selling in the store I highly discourage all of you from buying any kind of white sage from a big box retail Taylor. Please buy it from a Native American owned shop and an ethically and sustainably sourced store. I have a video where I go into white sage a little bit more. I will link it up above and in the description box down below if you want to learn a little bit more why you shouldn't use white sage. But basically, like I said in my other video, which if you didn't see, I totally want to repeat the message because I think it's an important message. White sage is sacred and medicinal to the Native American culture. And for Five Below to sell it, it's even more cultural misappropriation. So just don't buy white sage also it's endangered so not only is it cultural misappropriation and it's depriving the Native American community it's also endangered so there's just a lot of red flags with white sage highly discouraging you from purchasing it from any big box retailer including Urban Outfitters, Free People, any big box retailer that sells it or you can just avoid white sage altogether and buy other types of cleansing if you guys are looking on how to cleanse your crystals and you don't want to use white sage or any kind of sage at all I have a video on 10 ways to cleanse your crystals if for completely different options. Okay, so sorry that was a long splurge, but I think it's a really important message. So next we're gonna look at the white quartz dual face roller. So this is white quartz. It looks completely natural. To me, it actually looks like white jade. I'm not sure which one it is. It could be white quartz, 100% could be jade. Looks authentic. It's hard to say, but this one looks pretty authentic. And then we have a black obsidian face roller. So black obsidian is a great stone for repelling negativity. It's just a great grounding stone. So I believe this most likely is real. However, obsidian can be faked with glass. And if you wanna watch my video on how to spot fake obsidian, I will link it up above and in the description box down below. So there's a chance that this could just be glass. But obsidian is volcanic glass. So it is very easy to fake. And remember guys, there's no such thing as colored obsidian. Obsidian. 
at all. Like the blue obsidian that you see on Etsy or the green obsidian, those are just glass. So there is such thing as naturally occurring colored obsidian, but it is harder to find. So I encourage you to watch that video if you want to learn more about obsidian, because I don't want to get into it too much in this video, but just know obsidian can be faked for glass very easily. <laughs> all right, and the next face roller looks like a rose quartz face roller. To me, this looks completely natural. This one in the listing looks like it has some golden healer in it, so looks natural to me. You're probably safe with the rose quartz face roller. And the last face roller looks like a green jade face roller. Again, it's hard to tell if this is green jade. Serpentine can often be faked with jade, so there is a high likelihood that this isn't real jade. It could just be serpentine. So I'll put jade and serpentine up on the screen so you can see what serpentine looks like and what jade looks like. They're very close and very similar, and I do want to make a fake video about how to spot jade and serpentine, but it's so close I even need to do more research on it. So there's a high likelihood that this is actually serpentine. Still a real crystal, but it's just not jade. And the next thing is, again, a sage and stone cleansing kit. It looks like you get a stick of selenite, a stick of palo santo, and a white sage bundle. So again, would just discourage it because of the white sage. Palo santo can also be endangered, so again, you want to look at ethically and sustainably sourced palo santo when you purchase it. And this, again, isn't actually selenite, it's satin spar. So this whole kit, I just discourage from buying. And the next crystal is a rose quartz worry stone. It looks like they just had the rose quartz version on the website. Not sure if in the store if they offer other stones. This looks completely authentic to me. So it looks like all of the rose quartz at five below is completely authentic. It looks like all of the amethyst is completely authentic. So you probably can't go wrong with those at five below. And then we have the chakra set. Okay, you guys. So this is a $3.25 seven chakra set. It's interesting on the website, they spell your like you are not the proper way to spell it. It looks like a teenager wrote this, which is fine. So this is what it says the crystals are. So it looks like we have obsidian. So there's obsidian in there, which I didn't see in the original photo, which maybe I missed. Orange calcite, which I did say one of them does look like calcite, so that would be correct. Yellow jasper. Never really heard of yellow jasper, but hey, you know what? I don't know every single stone on the planet, so that could be completely, I wouldn't be surprised if it's some kind of jasper or calcite. So I think that that one's fine. Rose quartz, which is what I said. Turquentine. Okay. Never heard of turquentine before, but I am 100% positive that that is maybe the fake word for turquoise. Turquentine. I will do some more research on it, but I don't think it's real. To me, that crystal 100% is dyed howlite, so it's not real turquoise, it's not turquentine. And then it looks like there's a sodalite, so I was right about the blue stone being sodalite, and then amethyst, so the purple stone being amethyst. So I was pretty right in guessing that. So that is the seven chakra set. Again, there's a dyed crystal in there. I don't know, I don't think that this really is a chakra set because the color isn't accurate because it's dyed. That's just my two cents. It could work for you guys. No judgment, no no rules in crystal healing or crystal anything. It's all what you want to do and what you believe in. There's no right or wrong way to do it. So that is the crystals from Five Below. I know I went really, really fast, but I just wanted to give you guys information really, really quick. So if you guys like this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to do more of these crystals. I am planning on buying crystals from Shein and there's definitely some fakes and there's some real ones. So I'm gonna get those in. I'm gonna make another video very similar to this one. We're gonna go through, look at everything, see what's fake, see what's dyed, see what's treated. So if you guys like these types of videos where I go buy crystals from big box stores, let me know in the comment section down below which stores you want me to buy crystals from because I am happy to do it and give you the real tea on if these crystals are actually authentic and genuine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you guys want me to look at your crystals from third below from third below if you guys want me to look at your crystals from five below and want me to make an updated video if your crystal wasn't in this video and you want me to review that let me know send me a dm on instagram i'd be happy to do that and thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead and i will see you guys on the next one